Kaczynski on her own show, The Betty White Show on CBS, and, and she's, she's just wonderful in it. Dynamite. And watch this beautiful person here on Family Feud. Thank He's you. really terrific, that, daytime and nighttime. And uh, watch this uh, beautiful lady on The Better Sex with Bill Anderson. Uh, you'll really love that. A lot of fun, right? <laughs> Thank you. And up here, uh, don't forget to look for, I don't know when that's going to be released, sometime uh, in 1978, The Wiz. Yes. And Nipsey plays the Tin Man yes. in The Wiz. Yes. And there's terrific in that. And I'm on the Brett Summer Show. I'm a regular on the Brett Summer <laughs> Show, which is on Saturday mornings in Tijuana on alternate nights. <laughs> Well, we're going to see that. And join us next week when we'll have another we're wonderful bunch of weirdos like these right here on this very station. At Saturday I'm morning, the late Gene Rayburn, <laughs> and I'll see you next week. See Goodbye. <laughs>of you to come. Thank We're going to have a grand time. We are gathered here for fun and games. Give away a lot of money to these two people, or one of these two people, Bob Rabb and Francis Leon. <laughs> Hello there. Now we want to find out a little bit about each of you. I will begin with you, Francis. Yes, I'm Francis Leon, and I've been Francis married... Francis Leon. <laughs> That's yes. who she is. Yes. By Joe, yes. And I've been married for almost 20 years, and I'm the mother of three young adults. One is 18, one is 17, and my baby is 15. And they don't give you a hard time, do they? Oh, yes, they do. Oh, they do? Huh. <laughs> but they're a nice bunch. Yes. Good. Good luck to you, Francis. Thanks. Nice to have you with us. And you, Bob? I live in uh, Palos Verdes, California. I'm a commercial airline pilot going to acting school, taking singing lessons. And I try to experience as much of life as I can. Good for you. Well, that sounds wonderful. Now, they're applauding your effort here. Here on Match Game PM, each of you will have three opportunities to match as many of those creatures as you possibly can. And the one who has done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner. Go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $10,000. Good for you. Francis, you may have A or B. 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 This is what she wants. Here it is. Dr. Frankenstein says, aha. Ha, 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 aha. Ha, 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 ha. I finally figured out why my monster is always grabbing pretty girls. <laughs> I got his brain from blank. <laughs> That's why he's always grabbing pretty girls. The brain came from blank. Excellent acting. Thank you. <gasps> All right, here we go. Dr. Frankenstein says, aha. I finally figured out why my monster is always grabbing pretty girls. I got his brain from... <laughs> the beauty shop. <laughs> Grabbing Just pretty imagine. girls. Do you see it's what amazing. I mean? I Grabbing kiss me. Mm. All right. 
it's not Hello, Tom. Errol, Errol Flynn is dead, isn't he? Yes. Well, maybe they got his brain from... But I don't think Errol Flynn... I said uh, Joe Namath. Yeah. Joe Namath is a good rancher, yeah. You got the idea now, Francis. Splendid. <laughs> Brett? I think the audience will agree that I have, without exception, the definitive answer to this question. May we see it, he please? He got his brains from Gene Rayburn. Ah. gave her that idea. <laughs> Charles, would you? That's what gave her that idea. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, oh, no. You rascal. <laughs> Hello, Mary Ann. Hello. I got his brain from... And I have it on the best authority. Gene Rayburn. <laughs> In the scientific world, Gene Grabber Rayburn. Oh, oh, the Grabber. I would have said Gene Rayburn, but I couldn't think of his nameth. <laughs> <laughs> now, just let's see. We had two nameths and four Rayburns. Eat your heart out, Joe. <laughs> Okay. Hey, listen, why don't we get Joe on the show sometime? He lives out here now, huh? Yeah. Can that be a good idea? Yeah. Hey, he's he went to... He can't walk up the stairs. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> His candy well, hose are too We could tight. put her up there uh -huh. and him yes. down here. No, you oh, could. We could put oh, us you both could. in the same chair. <laughs> are you listening, Joe? Here we go. Bob, Fred said, when I was a baby... Oh, Fred said... You listen to this. <laughs> Fred said, when I was a baby... I was such a fancy dresser, I had the only diaper in the world with a blank. <laughs> the only diaper. I was a fancy dresser as a baby. I had the only, uh, well, this baby, Fred said. You know, Fred. When I was a baby, I was such a fancy dresser, I had the only diaper in the world with a blank. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm wonderful. I had a little nippy nap. Oh. And a good. little nippy nip. <laughs> Just ruining my reputation. Ruining it. It's common right, knowledge. Right. <laughs> what was the question? Oh, oh dear me. Gravy Marie. Now, Bob, I'm going to give it to you slowly while he's writing. Fred said, when I was a baby, I was such a fancy dresser, I had the only diaper in the world with a blank. With a tie. With a what? Tie. A tie. <laughs> we, uh... <laughs> We really have a matched pair here, don't we? <laughs> Hello, Tom. I finally learned how to play this game. Good for you. I wrote Gene Rayburn. No, too late. <laughs> too late. The last time. Yeah. I wrote Sequence. Sequence is good. Sequence. Okay, Brett. I wrote dinner jacket, etc. Okay, fine. Anything like that. Right. Surprise in there somewhere. Thank you. Well, well somewhere, but not at that. Go ahead, Charles. Ruffle. Ruffle. <laughs> Gently and beautifully spoken, I must say. Mary Ann, what do you say? The only... be said ruffle. <laughs> the, uh, the only diaper in the world with a... Pinstripe. Pinstripe diaper. Wouldn't that be fancy? The dresser. I had the, uh, such a fancy dress, I had the only diaper in the world with a... Vest. Vest! Yeah. yeah. The only diaper in the world with a... Zipper. Zipper! <laughs> I must say, you are a creative bunch. We had some wonderful answers there. <laughs> from them, but not from you. <laughs> All right, so there's round one, but we're gonna go ahead with this anyway, in spite of everything after this. Dazzling. Cleaving. Hysterical. Match Game, it's where all cards aspire to be. Three. Tune in tomorrow at 11.30 on Buzzer. with idiopathic infantile scoliosis. I've had 17 surgeries. I was born missing my lower right foot. I was born 10 weeks early without my left arm. 
I have osteogenesis imperfecta. I've broken over 70 bones in my lifetime. With my polio, I have tough days and my pain just pops out out of nowhere. There's nothing to be afraid of because all the doctors are all so nice. Most people think, oh, it's the medical side of things at Shriners Hospital, but for me, it's the confidence that I've gotten. When somebody sees these commercials, there'll be a phone number on the screen and all they have to do is call that phone number and make a donation to Shriners to help kids like me. Your money that you contribute, no matter what financial donation, every little bit counts. When you join with us, we'll send you one of these adorable blankets as a thank you and a reminder of all the abilities you are helping make possible. We have so much to celebrate this time of year. When you give at loveshriners.org right now, you're giving thousands of kids like us the ability to celebrate so many amazing things. You are the best you because Shriners has given you the confidence that you need. It's just really cool knowing that you're part of something bigger than yourself. Shyness has given so much to us, and we have a mission, and we have a goal that we want to help more kids. From all of us at Shriners Hospitals for Children, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Please call the number on your screen and give just $19 a month, only 63 cents a day, or whatever you can to help kids like us this Christmas. If our prayers are busy, call again or give right away to loveshriners.org. Listen, I just, uh, before I want to go on, this lump under here reminds me that everybody who participates over here will get the home version of the match game. There it is. Now you see it? Now you don't. Thank you, Jake. Here we go. Round two coming up. Let's see. Francis, you went first last time. The score is obviously tied, isn't it? <laughs> and since you went first last time, Bob, you'll go first this time. A or B, sir? Oh, B. B. Yes. That's what you had last time, right? Okay. <laughs> Tonto say. Hmm. Oh. Mmm, 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 me tell you secret about Lone Ranger. Under Lone Ranger mask, Lone Ranger have blank. <laughs> Under Lone Ranger's mask. Lone. Under Lone Ranger's mask. Right. Lone Ranger have blank. Oh. Here we go, Bob. Time to say me tell you secret about Lone Ranger. Under Lone Ranger's mask, Lone Ranger have blank. Black eye. Black eye. Yeah. Boring game player. <laughs> Tom? What oh, he more, of a, he more of a ranger red. He have false <laughs> eyelashes. False eyelashes! <laughs> What did you say? Well, this may be a match. I said he had circles. <laughs> you know, circles? Oh, yes, yes of course. Yeah, pay right. attention here. Now. You're the host, Tom. Huh? Am I the host? No kidding. Yeah, they, they oh, shh. What? Speak. Right away, the dramatic scorch you instantly. Right. Speak. Acne. Acne. <laughs> Lone Ranger. <laughs> Under Lone Ranger's mask, Lone Ranger have... False eyelashes and a little mauve eyeshadow. Oh, sure. Just a touch. Similario. Didn't make him a bad person, though, no, did it? No, as far yes. as I, Well, he did ride you... side saddle, but... Yes. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Betty? Oh, Betty. <laughs> oh, I haven't used that word... I haven't heard that word in ages. Oh, I'm so glad you I don't that. like the idea <laughs> at all. <laughs> I don't either. What? She you couldn't say zits. Yes, there are other I euphemisms that you... Plural, I didn't know what the plural of zits was. <laughs> Zitta. Zitzes. Heine Kleine Zitzes hoppen sie. Heine Kleine. Francis, are you ready? Here yes, it is. I am. Emily said, I don't think my new husband likes me. Oh. Well, maybe he's got reason. <laughs> Sorry. Who asked you? I don't think my new husband likes me. He took his marriage vows to have and to hold. Then he spent our entire honeymoon holding his blank. <laughs> to have and to hold. Emily said, I don't think my new husband likes me. He took his marriage vows to have and to hold, and then he spent our entire honeymoon holding his blank. 
zipper. <laughs> okay. All right. What do you say? Uh, well, I wasn't anywhere as near. But... <laughs> I said that he spent the entire wedding night holding his mother. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. She was sad to lose him. Okay, Brett. No, I thought he was getting ready to leave. He spent the whole weekend holding his hat in his hand. Holding his hat in his hand. Okay. And Charles... Holding his breath. <laughs> holding his breath. Terrific. <laughs> he spent our entire honeymoon holding his... Breath. Breath. Okay, until he turned purple. Uh, Richard, what do you say? I say, when are these people ever going to score anything? I don't know. <laughs> this will be a one-hour show. Breath. It could be. Breath is the answer there. What do you say? And our contestant said, holding Zipper. his... I've got it here somewhere. Yeah, that... No, 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 no. That was another show. Uh, up you go. Unfortunately. <laughs> Nose. Oh. All right. <laughs> Well, as you can plainly see, we still have a tie game here. Now we go to round three. Bob went first last time. Francis, you go first this time. Please. Yes. What do you want? B again. B. You sure? B is this funny one with a, with a yes. round thing on it. Okay, maybe, Francis. Maybe if we ask one of the questions we've already asked, we yeah, tried it how again. About that? <laughs> oh, well, I guess. No? Here it is. Carl the cowboy was so absent minded, he put his girlfriend in the barn and took his horse to blank. <laughs> Simple, straightforward. All right, Francis. Carl the cowboy was so absent minded, he put his girlfriend in the barn and took his horse to blank. Here I go again. Bed. I said to dinner. To dinner. It could be even worse, but depending on how you look at it. Right. What do you say, my dear? Well, I guess this little girl's still back in the 50s. I said he took his horse to the movies. <laughs> Put his girlfriend in the barn, took his horse to the movies. They had a one, they saw a double rerun of an old Sure we did. did. Okay, we're never gonna get anywhere, I can see that. Well, don't be too sure. I'm oh, sure. Party pants. Because here we go, there should be music under this little trumpet. All right, bring on the trumpets. Yada ba da 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 Like I always say, they're right there. There it is. I said to bed in the corral house. To bed in the corral house. All right, Marianne put his girlfriend in the barn, took his horse to... Guess. <laughs> ben! Oh! Peter Francis. <laughs> Do I hear music? I hear music. I hear music. Ben! I was so sure she was going to say took, her, took him to the zoo, but I bet. Man, there it is. Four for her. Okay. Now, Bob. Four to tie, five to win. Everybody plays. Last shot at it, Bob. The waitress said, I don't think that customer liked the service here. He left a note on the table saying that I'd find my tip in the blank. I don't think that customer liked the service here, said the waitress. He left a note saying, I'd find my tip in the blank. Well, wait a minute. Okay, now, okay. Here it is. Here, something's here coming go. to you. Who's, who's this? Yeah. It's Art Carney. Right. I have multiple choice here. Okay. All right, Bob Rapp. The waitress said, I don't think that customer liked the service here. He left a note on the table saying that I'd find my tip in the blank. In the garbage. In the garbage. Well, that's not bad. You'd find garbage in a restaurant. 
Looking for a little garbage for old Bob over there, Tom. I've been full of garbage all night long until now. I said find her his tip, her tip in the coffee. In the coffee. That's a hot tip. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's full of them tonight. Right, she it? really is. Uh, what do you say? <laughs> Jay, are you the doctor? I'm Doobie. How do you do, Mr. Doobie? How's uh, 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 John, I'm sorry. Well, I thought we were going to Now, Bob, you got a match of four remaining ones to stay in the game and achieve a tie. He's looking for garbage, Charles. Music, please. <laughs> garbage. Okay. All right, four to one to score. Got a little garbage out of Mary Ann, and you're still in business. Go, Mary Ann. What'd you say? A little garbage, what we need. Well, that's what you're gonna get, a garbage of an answer, because I said toy toy, a toilet. Okay, so that means Francis Leon wins the game. We have John and John. All right. I'll get back to you right away. Why don't we say goodbye to Bob Rabb. It was a pleasure to do business with you. Have it was some a gifts joy. For you. Thank you, Bob. Goodbye. While we're spinning him off, let's get a message or two for you. Are you someone who always... We all know and love the original singing bird clock. It has been enjoyed by over 10 million people. Now it's back and better than ever. Introducing the new 25th anniversary singing bird clock with enhanced artwork and new dynamic sound. Now you can fill the room with the real life sounds of nature. Every hour, each unique songbird comes to life. Like the breathtaking tones of the Northern Cardinal, the boisterous Blue Jay, or the white-breasted nuthatch with its famous one-of-a-kind chirp. 12 authentic live recordings, digitally remastered for incredible clarity. It sounds so real, you may not know the difference. The 25th anniversary singing bird clock is a huge 13-inch wall clock with a larger keyhole for easy hanging and a built-in sensor that turns the songs off at night, then turns them on in the light, so you can wake to the soft call of a morning dove. Or the sweet morning whistle of the Northern Cardinal. Soon you'll recognize your favorite bird songs wherever you go. American Robin. Bring the real outdoors in when each bird starts to sing. Call or go online now to get the 25th anniversary singing bird clock for just $19.99. But hold on, you also get our pocket field guide absolutely free. Packed with information like where to find each bird, what they eat, and how they act. The 25th anniversary singing bird clock and the free pocket field guide can be yours. And ask about our oak and cherry wood upgrades. Supplies are limited. Call now. To order your 25th anniversary singing bird clock, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-597-1436. That's 1-800-597-1436 or visit us online at thesingingbirdclock.com. Call or click today. Ready White Christmas, back to the festivities. Now, here we are with Frances Leon. Let's see how much more she's going to win we got for the big super match here for you. We're going to have two of these for you and whatever money you win here will be multiplied by 10 and that'll be the final dollar amount you'll be playing for. We polled the studio audience not too long ago and we got their best answer to this. Squeaky blank. You get $500 if you match the answer they gave most often, 250 for the second most popular and 100 for the third and three of them will help. Charles, please. Don't you take mine. <laughs> Squeaky blank, Charles. I'll give you my second choice. <laughs> Good place to pick up a minute. Yes. <laughs> no. Oh. Say it, it's Charles. It's spanking clean, not squeaky clean. It's squeaky shoes. Okay, there's one. Richard, please. Squeaky door. All right. Betty. I think squeaky clean is just as good as anything in the world. All right, so you have squeaky clean, squeaky door, and squeaky shoes. You can choose one of those or give us one of your own. What is your pleasure? Have you got a better idea? Well, I'll take Richard's squeaky door. Squeaky door is what we want. Let's find out if it's up there and if so where. May we see the $100 response? Squeaky clean. All right, there's Betty's answer. May we see the next one, please? Squeaky from. All right. Yes. All right. Squeaky wheel. You think it might be that? Well, let's find out right now. 
There it is. You got it. Okay. Well, Francis, you've won $500. Multiplied by 10 gives you a minimum of $5,000 to shoot for. Let's see how much more you'll win with your second audience match. Here we go. Blank Fonda. That's a hard one. Okay. Brett. What about Jane? Jane. Richard. Henry. Henry. Betty. Peter. Peter. <laughs> so you got Peter, Henry, and Jane. You want to choose one of those? Jane. Okay, let's find out if Jane is up there. May we see the $100 response? Peter is there. May we see the $250 one, please? Jane, it is. Congratulations. Another $250 multiplied by 10 gives you another $2,500. Added to the $5,000 you won previously, makes a pot of $7,500 to shoot for. Oh, there you are. I was wondering who I was talking to you, but there you are. Now, Francis will give me the $7,500 Jane. if what? Under the 500. Oh, I don't care what's under the 500. Alice oh, you Fonda. want to know? Oh, well, Alice. all right, slide. Alice Fonda. It. Henry. You have to match one celebrity exactly in order to collect that big sum. Richard. All right, face me if you would, please. Good luck. Here it is, worth $7,500, and it reads as follows. Crew blank. That's C-R-E-W blank. Crew blank. All right, give us the answer that he's given. We give you $7,500. I can only think of one thing. Crew cut? Crew cut. All right. Richard, she says crew cut will match you for $7,500. No, I thought of two, and I went with the other one. Crew neck. Crew neck. Well, they're both good answers. They really are. Either now, Francis, you've won a total of $750. We congratulate you for that. And thank you, my dear. Now we've got this just for you. Next, do you hear what I hear? The fun and laughter continue because more new to Buzzer Betty's and more Match Game PM is on the way. Betty White Christmas continues, so stay tuned. Hunger Root is here, and I needed it because my fridge is super empty. I'm going to open the box. That's the exciting part. Hungry Root came through. And my refrigerator is packed. Everyone loves the benefits of compression socks, but they're just so hard to get on. Until now. Introducing the all-new Copperfit Energy Socks. Redesigned for the first ever easy-on, easy-off fit to help reduce swelling, relieve tired, achy muscles, and provide energizing support. A new blend of stretch fabric for the most comfortable easy-on, easy-off compression fit. Being a SWAT commander, we train to win. The Copperfit Energy Socks, they didn't feel like other compression socks. It totally exceeded my expectations. Our most powerful copper-infused fabric woven into our easy-on, easy-off compression sock to help reduce swelling discomfort from prolonged sitting or standing. I'm 38 and a half weeks pregnant. Copperfit Energy Socks worked beautifully. Extra support around the arch and ankles for increased support and relief of muscle aches and pains. I'm so excited about these socks. I'm so much more energized to go do things after a day of work. They just slip right on, yet they still have that same compression that you want. A soft cushion footbed for all day comfort. I'm on my feet at least nine to 10 hours a day. These were fantastic. A lot of compression socks are a little too thin, especially for what I did with Copperfit. I could wear these every day. Feel more energized. Feel more active. Just feel better. They just hug your leg. It relieves all the pressure that you have. I have so much energy. I can go. Hey, you want to dance? The first ever easy on, easy off compression sock. The most comfortable compression sock you will ever wear. Get your Copperfit Energy Socks now online at GetEnergySocks.com for only $19.99 or call 1-800-329-4126. Order right now and we'll include a second pair of compression socks free. I've never felt anything like it before. No more pain, no more swelling, no more achy, tired feet. I can never go back to regular compression socks again. Don't settle for ordinary. Ask for the original by name, Copperfit Energy Socks. 
Well, join us next week for Match Games PM here. We'll have more money to give away, and we'll have a bunch of loonies like these, and we hope you'll be here, too. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game PM, a Mark Goodson, Bill Trotman production. to match the stars, Dick Martin, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, from Welcome Back Potter, Helene Lembeck, from Family Feud, Richard Dawson, and Betty White, as we play the star-studded big money match game, PM. And now, here's the star of match game, PM, Gene Rayburn. My cup overfloweth. <laughs> and so do some of yours, too, I see. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here on Match Game PM. You're going to have a good time because they open the doors to the loony bin. <laughs> and we are all gathered here together, including our two civilians, Gwen Tyler and John May. Now, we'd like to find out a little bit about each of you before we begin. John, we'll begin with you. Anything you wish to contribute is okay with us. Fine, Gene. How much time have I? Oh, you got about eight seconds. Good. I'm a retired welfare administrator. I have six kids ranging in age from 41 to 16. 